a blessing for the cursed. The Ancient Silver Scrolls Prayer. There remains a blessing for any nation, people, or individual whom politicians curse, whom men curse, whom women curse, whom religions curse, whom devils curse. There remains a blessing for those who want it, the oldest known blessing written by the hand of God. In 1987, at an escarpment named Katif Hinnom, near St. Andrew's Scottish Presbyterian Church, south of Jerusalem, digging in a 7th century BCE burial cave, graduate student Judith Hadley found a three-inch wide amulet made of rolled-up silver. At the same site, Hadley's teammates found a similar silver amulet, a scroll measuring about two inches in width. When they unrolled these scrolls three years later, scholars found them inscribed with a text from the Torah, the Hebrew Scriptures, attributed to the prophet Moses who lived in the 15th century BCE. The scrolls are inscribed in Paleo-Hebrew script. One of them has on one side much of the text of the Book of Numbers, chapter 6, and on its other side with verses 24, 25, and 26. In the late 19th century, German university professors invented an approach to the history of the Hebrew biblical text that lacked an evidentiary basis. According to their documentary hypothesis, Numbers chapter 6 must have been composed after the Israelite captivity in Babylon in the 5th century or later. The Silver Scrolls, however, demonstrate that at least parts of Numbers chapter 6 already existed in the 7th century shortly after the events that it describes, and that some Israelites regarded the text as having been dictated by their deity, Yahweh. According to Numbers 6, 22-27, in standard Hebrew Bibles, the Lord spoke to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is the way you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. So they will put my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. This text does not appear in the Dead Sea Scrolls, which date between the 3rd century BCE and the 1st century CE. Thus, the oldest existent biblical manuscripts containing this text date from the 11th century CE. So, how do the verses in the Silver Scrolls compare with those in the Hebrew Bible? This ironic blessing in Silver Scroll number 2 reads, May Yahweh bless and keep thee. May Yahweh shine his face upon thee and give thee peace. The letters in parentheses represent damaged portions of the Silver Scroll. The Aaronic blessing in the Hebrew Bible reads, May Yahweh bless thee and keep thee. May Yahweh shine his face upon thee and grace thee. May Yahweh lift up his face upon thee and give thee peace. We observe that the two versions of Aaron's blessing share the same vocabulary, the same grammar, and the same syntax. However, the Silver Scrolls version is a little shorter. Yevarekka Yahweh Vayishmerekka Yaer Yahweh Panayv Eleka Vayashem Leka Shalom. May Yahweh bless thee and keep thee. May Yahweh shine his face upon thee and give thee peace.